Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. And today, guys, I'm doing a video on the Cephalodius. Cephalodus. Oh my gosh. Uh, Folichloriasis uh, norma. Norma variety. It's a clone. So, you know, when it gets its adult pictures and adult uh, non carnivorous leaves, I guess I can clone one and name it whatever I want. But this is a very wanted plant in cultivation and pretty easy to take care of if you know what you're doing. But if you're a beginner, I do not recommend this plant. So what they start off with, kind of in, if it's a younger plant like this guy, these are juvenile pictures. So in about a month to a couple weeks, it will start be get, getting pictures about this big and then about this big at, when it's full grown. So that's about a year to uh, two years. So these guys do need dormancy starting in, I usually give them about a three to four month dormancy starting in October to November and ending in January or February. Either that, I mean, if I want it earlier in the season, then I start it later. Like I will start it in October and end it in January or February. So these guys have a really nice color to them. This guy, this pot came with three of them, not very big plants. So, this plant right here, which seems to be the biggest plant out of all of them, producing some pretty nice little juvenile pictures. And then this guy, second biggest, got some non-carnivorous leaves. This one actually has like no carnivorous leaves, which I find kind of weird. Or he does, but they're about like that big. They're like that big, that little guy right there. And then it's producing this. So, I'm thinking that a few of these little pictures developing are going to be in the juvenile pictures. And then this is the smallest one, with just a bunch of folia, non carnivorous leaves, and a tiny little picture. Now, I don't know if there is a picture in the middle just kind of hiding, but I did see this little bitty picture right there. That one right there, that little bitty picture. He's not developing either. He's like fully opened and everything. He's tiny, so... I'm just going to put the piece of paper in the background so you can see the color, because if I don't, it looks like that. So, this is the care sheet for the, from California Carnivores. Let's see? So, it doesn't actually have the stuff Lotus on it, so I feel like they should get that kind of updated, but it's all good. I am going to feed him with Maxi while he's in this state, because he's kind of tiny, you know? A little hard to feed him, although for some reason it seems like there's a gnat that got eaten in there. Or, it got flipped upside down during transit, and the gnat ended up, the acids ended up all leaking out. Which, you, the smell of maxi is actually kind of good smell, it's weird, but, you know. I do like, whenever you fertilize it, you cannot get any in the soil. You can't fertilize the soil, you will kill it. So, cool thing is, is when you get moss to grow on the surface, then the moss starts absorbing the maxi instead of the plant in the soil. You just want the leaves of the carnivorous plant to absorb it, not the, um, you know, the roots. So, he is in this terrarium right here. This one is newly set up, probably about a week ago I set it up. I'm still getting plants. These are just plants I kind of had in my window, so I kind of neglected. I wanted to bring those two back. So, you know, I put them in this terrarium. I don't know what I'm, I'm probably going to take them back and put them in the window when I get more California carnivorous plants. Like, I'm getting some pygmy sundews. Some helium flora, and I think I'm gonna get two more of these guys, the Danella and the um, Angus or ABG clone. So, and then these are baby cape sundew seeds I germinated about a month ago. So, as you can see, I put his tray in the middle of the bigger tray because he needs his own, uh, you know, evaporated like his water needs to evaporate before I add more. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the other ones I'm getting. I might just put them towards the back and let that side kind of evaporate and you know so helium flora i'm gonna get some of those those are cool too probably gonna drop at least 200 dollars on all these things so um i think that's it for the video actually no if you guys want some care info all i all i can say really is just keep the soil moist not boggy like normal carnivorous plants they do not like that keep it moist it, their soil moist um once a month to Twice a month, fuller feeding of maxi is good. For smaller plants, adult plants, you can feed like ants, small crickets, flies if you somehow get a hold of one. But yeah, so that's kind of it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.